actually gonna watch that PK set back, but this it's the the games just weren't actually games. I'm nervous you when I play in this game? Not at all. I get nervous before the set, and then once the set starts, so I'm completely fine. They still run their lane there. You might as well put all I'm like, oh, it's gonna say team on three sub. Now play. this game. That's what you would do. If this game was a game. This this was a fun game. Mostly because we won. I think you're gonna have fun when you lose. Yeah, that's be all. Every loss. Yeah, I'm definitely interested to see what. Wait, Pika, I want your opinion on this. Go There's a winning. Do radiance bounce back with it? Because the funny thing is that. Wait. Okay. Golan, How do I word this? Success in that game. You got focused. Does winning feel good more than losing feels bad? Like what feels? What's what's the range there? I don't even know if Pete got still here. But I remember after we lost. I think it's Jake like, said oh. losing feels worse than winning feels good. We're saying no frost six fifty one sub, baby. Heavily, I'm gonna catch the team. Because for me, it depends on the loss. Some losses feel really, 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 really bad, and then some wins don't really feel that great. But some wins feel like really, really, really good. This game was one of those games that winning felt really, 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 really good. Make it at all. And that's all. Do the renegades chain spot? Okay, we'll skip the P's and B's because I'm not gonna give away why. Uh, Back, come with you know, Vin picks Ryzen for Early. a third game in a row. Early game to keep over here, and it is all. Oh, they actually adapted here. This is a good response for them. Far? <clears throat> the effective at that point, I think, is a big question mark. This is gross, though. What happens on the left hand of the si uh, left hand side of the map? But so many people over here, and it is all three games. Benenu has done this. They made a diff I I actually thought I was gonna get the steal off there. I thought I was gonna interrupt Aurora's fog and then get the steal off. I'm just saying, Rare, thanks so much, Impace, for getting your 824th sub. Thank you, Impace. Thanks for the 100 bits, Raphael. Thank you, man. I was adapting your nemesis because they picked Fender and then just dumpster me like three years in a row. Or maybe come up and help out with the alphas. Not entirely sure where Lasper's going. Now he'll go do his own wreck. This is the game Vin finds. Can't tell you, like, doubt it. Big man Ting is just dashed in. Always risky, and he might get punished. I actually thought Lasper was going to get that first one watching it back. Lasper was going to be here on the red buff. In all honesty, I don't know. Good pressure already by us, though. Feels good, man. But that's exactly where it was, and it cost them the beats. Jake Schumer, sometimes, yeah. Benji Why is this lagging? Why is lagging? Troll got blue, but it's still Maybe it's one, just the stream. You should have noticed that, that Solar Troll had Hog in inventory if they were fighting against him over by purple. I think it's pretty safe to assume that SOT is going Every to... Every time his adapting his picked Fenrir, he has won against speed. me. So... And Lazarus has been starting at Renegade's purple. Yeah. We did our purple this time, unlike every other game, because Lazarus has been there to do purple right away at level 2. Every other time, I think... I, I think that it is kind of fair to assume that that's exactly where he's going to be, is that red buff, because there's nowhere else he can be. He's either invading our red or... Should we done midway? Yeah. Rights. Yeah. And I'm not super here. scared of him doing back rights at that point. You know, you're, you're pretty you're pretty happy if that's where he is. I think that if Radiance... Uh, it, you know, game three especially. Game one, you're not really sure what's happening. Game two, you probably have a pretty decent idea. By now, game three, uh, you should know one. exactly Mr. what's up. With with this start for Renegades and where everybody is, I I, I think. Why well, is last being a Reds and Vimpy no speeds? Uh, before this and game, the right read, we asked if we could like roll swap, and then was like, like the dude, let me sure, jungle, and last right. was like, bro, that's, that's a good idea, let me mid, and then, he's like, okay, well, maybe so, Vin, we really want speed buff, so Vin picked up speed, and then last, like, really wanted red buff, so last picked up red. But if you ever watch Vin jungle, it's a treat. Right. Top side does it's a delicious game, treat. So they're able to come back in towards it. Yeah, I mean, they don't lose red. Incredible, they yeah. I mean, I was kind of skeptic of it, because, like, I've seen Vin Jungle and Ranked, right. and it's not... I mean, it's decent. Also, this was kind of troll by us. I don't think we ever get kills here. 
has used the <laughs> I don't think we ever get kills there. Gets them both out we we tried, but Blink yeah, I don't think we're ever killing anyone. Okay. Stay home, stop the spread. When the unbelievable happens, what happens to you? Is this a grocery store commercial? Is it a, a, like a commercial for America? This is so you can get Twitch Prime, you animal. I will be very disappointed in you if I see another rod when you deconstruct your base dump. Congrats on the win. No, I'm on incognito mode. <laughs> Please. I'm on incognito. Take your money back. Please. I just always go incognito whenever I uh, watch things on my monitor. I have Prime, chat. Get off my back. Alright. It's a $13 donation, Mistral. I also am supporting Twitch. All right, you know, they they get they get my money. They get my ads money or something. I, I don't know. I'm saying it for something. Have pressure in the long lane for the first time this. I was always going incognito. I don't know why. The opposing tower line all day long, but this is what a roar cyclone spin duo lanes usually look like, and that is all in service of getting credit over to the Renegades and awesome Jake and Barrow. Yeah, we're just chilling with tower here. Really, up until now, and Lasper wants to take another crack at this. Another crack at this dueling gang. What are you guys doing? Pushing up so fast. Oh. <laughs> and the gank doesn't work. Now Barra has to three way split this wave. I wonder if Wasn't that juicy you don't need him to go back and, and buy boots outright. <laughs> that was a pretty juicy one. Outright. He's bottom of the net worth charts and yeah, and you say as a content creator, I don't believe in ad block. I, yeah, to save my prime so people get ads. Full devourers gauntlets at this point. Cyclone's getting close to being able to buy his boots. For lot. For Avalon. Third game where we get to see how it is that Renegades want to deal with this emoji in the I didn't get a notification that you started streaming. RIP. Now I have to go back and catch up. Grats on the win, man. Thanks for the viewer points, bro. I was part of the 5%. Much love. Glad you started. with that build. And they have been rather consistent. They know the King Arthur works, so they pick that now twice. Does losing in 20 minutes feel the same as losing in 55 minutes? And does winning in 20 minutes feel the same as winning in 55 minutes? Thanks for watching the final edition, Zorak. I hope you appreci or appreciate the rest of my stream. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> I hope you appreciate me streaming. God. I'm so conceited, as Panic I would say. Thanks for watching the 10 edition, Sweaty Lurker. Does losing in 20 minutes feel the same as losing in 55 minutes? It depends on the game. It was, it was um, sometimes the 20 minutes stomps feel yeah, really bad, sometimes, so like, the PK loss to me didn't really feel bad at all, because so I was like, I wasn't even in the game. game like, I don't think any of us were actually in the game. Like, we just played really poorly as a team and just let PK walk over us. Um, sometimes, stopping and playing clean feels really, really, really good. It's like a different satisfaction. Like, playing a game really clean feels really 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 good like if everyone's just clicking on all like pages at the same time it feels so good but then at the same point winning in 55 minutes if you guys clutch a team fight or have like an insanely good play you can still feel really good about the win but some sometimes you feel really good about the 55 minute win sometimes you're like god bless it's over like i can finally stop playing because that game was a fiesta and while that's important i think it also serves to highlight it just depends on the game oh nice job grouping up there boys yeah nice maybe you guys just like hold hands a little bit more there <laughs> the majority of the time and, and, and I think the Renegades likely so have one of the lower end efficiency stats on the double try. And that doesn't mean that you know Lazarus playing poorly by any means I think it's just a good way he's again, stupid let's jumping read the bro data in a proper way I think it shows where why would you just blame your support here on the map more than anything else it's really setting Lazarus to that yeah if you don't many games are super stressful 100% Doing that a lot here this game, but he's uh, your brain right now. just slowly starts to deteriorate as the game goes further. This Athena solo here so far. He went with the shoes of the Magi. Who called the group start? stun? And, you know, I'll be <laughs> the group for I do stun and bombs. It really worked. Oh, it's like probably Ben. Is there a positive correlation between handsome people and not buying anti heal? <laughs> 
And he's really trading pretty effectively <laughs> so far in Solo Patrol. And I think it's Solo's one that, I mean, Solo yeah. Patrol spam is so. ranked all day long. I think I could have played this a little bit more aggressively, but I didn't so want to get Cyclone in your room. And I was fine with holding waves on my tower. Random people in his games are playing Athena Solo, and of those random people Thanks, Razor. that he's playing against, are they going to be good at Athena Solo? Whereas sure. Benji has one of the most storied careers. We knew the Philly had done too early to lose camps, and then Gold Deficit lost but, four Gold Fury. I think with Athena Solo, Benji's certainly one of the first. Wait, talking about like. Mind. In really general, or just like me? Oh, I think I told Jake to go away. Yeah, I told Jake to go away there. <laughs> he just sadly jumps away to the jungle. But I was behind in farm for some reason. I'm not sure why. I think it was because he was getting the alphas. So I was still Jake to go away there. I remember it coming out of base here knowing that he would have uh, full boots. And I was feeling kind of sad about it because I didn't have full boots. And look at this back timing. There's not a lot up that he'd be farming anyway, but every time you can send this jungler back and force them to have to leave when they weren't trying to with their time. So how will be an SPL? We'll see. It could be very advantageous. <laughs> Immediately, Lazbrick goes, forget the mace, bro. I'm buying magic D. I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> I didn't notice he soon, did that. He immediately starts sure. working towards a runic shield or an, or an Am Chile. I'd anticipate it on Chile for him, just because yeah, same it, like if Athena hits you with her dash, then... This was a really, really, really good set by us, honestly. Like, we played very well. Uh, let's see. Let me find the next one. Is it? Hey, that's it. Necessarily needed as radiance. Have two members over here on the and we're back. There shouldn't be much more pressure. This is a much slower pace to this game pause here? than what we've seen in these other games left in game the coast. Tweak. So yeah, the pause side lanes this time around again. have not been snowballed whatsoever. They've been stalemated, which is exactly the way that Radiance has won. I wasn't here for 1100 day. Yeah, I'm last week. So I'm stupid. Not, not a bad start by Renegades. They aren't losing. There's a two donation and a Mistral. By not winning, I think they are kind of losing. No. If that tracks. I support Jake yeah, jumping. I, mean, I'm just not so sure this I am a good teammate, and if he wants to jump, when Renegades goes he can jump. Like this, as Benji has great pressure on Lazbro. Look how much health Benji has. What we really see is that they end up putting too much pressure onto Lazbro for my money to really. I was so sad that Rickshay hit me, dude. The sole person to give them any advantage. To try and find a big team fight. I think I played that so a little too defensively. I think I played a little bit too passively in a Cyclone here. Way. Cyclone spin doesn't seem to recognize that he is in trouble. Here's the gang. Beads come out from him early. He does use die bomb, but he goes right back down to look. To I didn't realize I got the Athena ult there. Dude, I played that bad. I could have killed that thing. Actually, no, he has ult. He could kill me. Really, yeah, really okay, good, good play by Cyclone. Understand. Good, uh, basically dead to right. Safe, no uh, what, but he buys enough time safe knock up by me there. To make sure that Lazbra takes Yeah, but not being as old, I can die. Lazbra to up down where he probably doesn't really want to. It's really smart there by Cyclone. Defender of Olympus is on cooldown. Was that used on to Cyclone and then he died before he came through? I mean, I didn't get a chance to see it there during the fight, or maybe it happened elsewhere, but it's yeah. not available now. I was expecting that to potentially come No, he rushed boots, so I wanted to play it passively, but I don't think I should have been playing it that passively. Yeah, I didn't see it either. I wonder if Benji But also playing it passively is fine because he pushes up then. Of Sunbreaker on the ground or could have been the awkward scenario. I don't remember this. Big Man Ting steps in the middle and ends up eating it by accident. That does happen. Never oh. Yeah, that is something that absolutely does happen sometimes. There's Solo just dies and didn't even show it. It was too brutal to show. Spin goes back, and it's the up down from Lazbra that really seals the deal. He used that ambush, it looks like, straight up, straight back down. Solo lane esque by him, and, and he's pretty <laughs> far behind at this point. By the way, during that replay, Solo Retrol. Did you notice he's zoning you cry? On that right -hand side. I mean, now you can, like, either call your teammates over. Ahead so far, or, uh. Adapting continues to get further ahead as well. And I can't remember exactly who. Cry. Was saying in or just push up and hopefully you don't die. Someone, right before a game against Renegade, said that they feel like Lazbra does a lot of ganking, in, in early on especially. And if you can stay safe and play disciplined, you're going to set him behind because he's going to spend too much time looking for ganks and not enough time farming and I think that's what's happened here Cyclone spin stepping up a bit too far the defender I was so sorry I missed that all dude I thought I was gonna juke left 
so he will get some backup. But it just feels like a bit of stubborn. Kind of just let him juke himself out. Jake was here, he just was but I thought I was going to go loud and he went right. Kind of 50 50, I guess. And it's just horrific I could have also ulted earlier, but I think my ult timing there was pretty, pretty correct there. Into your debt without purification beads. And Barra it's just does a great much, job of making sure. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's just so much CC. It's. Uh, I went up to the sub, uh, Benji's back. And, and it's a potent CC all at the same time. And Barra sets that gank up by really good wave control. He, he builds a big wave that is going to go against him. Go against him yeah, I think I actually played the wave management tower. everything really well this game. Like, or, no yeah, choice, really well set, up, honestly. Well, I got a Theta ult. I'm going to need it. But it, it still doesn't end up mattering. Uh, but it's not enough to save his life there on that left hand side. So that's just good work from Renegades to kind of force their hand a yeah. little bit. You know, and I like this. I, I like what Cycle. I think I played pretty. I he's trying to my wave management was pretty good. I don't think I had to play the 1v1s that scared. But, I mean, if he ricochets me, I lose half my health. So. It's got a beta, but. You know, you do what you can. Okay, maybe I log into my Twitch account. <laughs> And now it's uh, no different. Well, because helping you through this. Wait, wait I need to figure out what time I'm at, and then I'll log into my Twitch account. Actually, I guess I don't have to. Okay, I am at. Let's see, four minutes. Okay. Using last breath on Aurora, because instead of being backbreaking, it just. Okay. Further and we're back. Want to do. And no more ads. Radiance already has such a good lead. I mean, they're still in the lead despite these last two kills on a cyclone spin. Do yeah, we were finding like a lot of. Radiance play, uh, the better it is for them. I, I feel like the the longer this game goes, I guess area even, four kills the is good. Is for Radiance. They've just proven <sighs> that they have that wherewithal come late game. To be a team that deserves to be so a on YouTube. Situation. Oh, they just uploaded it? That's unfortunate. Good point, right? Maybe no need to go for that nice back breaking play when the long game already favors you as Barracuda gets a little bit of extra farm. Was considering the back doesn't channel it, but Aurora's not getting there in time. All right, I think Aurora chases me all the way down to my pro wolf here. Or like my tier one. Why Jake Fapp is so good? Uh, it kind of just fits his play style. And he's just good at it. He knows his limits. Yeah, he still my back there. I was kind of sad about it. Dude, look at our jungle shrine breakdown. Yep. What are we doing? Because Athena, you think, oh, she's a guardian. How is she allowed to proxy so easily? Well, she wants the wave. Good night, Razor. Anyways, so for shield wall to clear. So See you, Black Death. He doesn't mind tanking it for a second because it's going to clear so well. And if you show up, do we get this up? And he lives every time. It's pretty much unpunishable. It's really oh, there you said it. Kind of scared there. Try to knock up Benji there. there. I don't do any damage. Like he went breastplate Jade. Awesome Jake lives so he really. Doesn't go down it's kind of a weird build. And this is about time, so really doesn't care about Ben's damage for some reason in the stage of the game, which is kind of weird. It's a Ryzen. I guess you can just walk in. Like look at my attacks. I don't do any damage to that guy. But Vin does. Nice. I should have landed right on top of Vin there. I'm pretty sure I kill adapting if I do. And Hunter is chasing down junglers trying to take If I out. yeah, if I landed right on top of adapting, I think he dies. I don't think he will, but it's still gonna be a two for two at the end of the day. Radiance lose their front line. Whereas Renegades yes. lose two members out of their 3v3 core. I don't know if I can. I don't yeah, think I, I saw this gold do it. Yeah. Yeah, I call it a reset here. I don't think we can do gold with Jake being uh, that week. That was my bad. So Pretty sure I could have killed that thing. Wait, Vin has anti heal. That he has had up until now. You won't hear me complain. No, I think that that's a pretty wise call to make sure that Lazbra doesn't You're start Shadow? to snowball this game in Renegade's favor and, and, and Laz just has a tough time getting in. I thought he was going to jump on me there. 14, or level 12. He's not even close to level 14. He's level 12, just now hitting 13. Yep. Big Man Tings is level 17. That's a massive level disparity. And just base That's damage alone is going to carry... I remember Vin saying that I knew it was going to be a problem at this stage Lazarus of the game. Be able to live through. This Runic Shield is not going to matter too much. Big man Tings is gonna blow up this Sir Ket pretty quickly if he can get her get his hands on her. 
And that's why Lazar has to try and fight. Can't really <laughs> that one getting yeah. in. He just jumps he's around the entire map. He's got to be a little bit more wary of where Benji is in these fights, because otherwise it's not going to take long so for banish. to kill him. Renegades are the ones starting up the gold fury now. Roaring Cyclone Spinner nearby. I was wondering if I could have full tanked that. To come in and find decent damage. Rivers of Buke traps in two members. But the rest of Radiant steps yeah. showing up. Yeah, Aurora steps up way too far there. The dash on BMT, dash is out. Psycho drums, that's big damage. And that'll be it for the emoji here as well. So Renegades go right back to trying to look at... Good pick by us. pull it though. They're actually going to let SOT and Lash... Got a weird death by Aurora, honestly. I don't think you should have died there. In fact, it's Radiant's. Dude, they're saying so much fizz D. I really can't still do has damage. A sustain at the end of the day that is relevant in these sorts of longer engagements. And Benji so still has the CC that's ready to go and is going to get kills Bottom. on demand. Or at least force a grenade oh. and sword. Maybe what? he'll hold them until it's way too late. That, I, I understand Vinay. That was a rough one there, Vin. Big man tings that sentry warded top left. He, he He's kind of caught turning. As Benji dashes, sometimes it's just better <laughs> to eat the taunt. Face I mean, sometimes you just gotta die, over the and that's just Tina, that's just the way a professional smite. Because then, if he watch, if he sees Big Man Tink step up, he knows that. Yeah, wait for them to kill the ward, and then I call to just he trade Pyre here for gold. Because I don't think we can ever contest gold he here. He needs to beads, and then you do the worst thing possible, which is beads super late. This is good work from Radiance trading that Pyromancer for the gold fury. That's gonna favor. The chaos team here every single time. No, we're running an SOT and last is that intentional? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, I'm not sure. I don't remember them talking about it, but they might have talked about it. Yeah, honestly, if Vin doesn't have Divine there, I think he lives. <laughs> To try and blow them up quick, but it was awesome, Jake. And I'm not sure if he had the spirit robe for that fight in particular or not. But if that's how it's going to keep going, I remember feeling like really confident during this entire forward, game, right? Because when that plan, when that trap snaps shut, it's just not going to work on awesome Jake nearly as well. Even if he doesn't get the ultimate off, he's just going to be taking way less damage. Spear robe should be bought against. Also, I went XE Titans here because Benji was literally a tank. This item is bonkers, and it blows my mind that it doesn't get bought so often. It's it's all prot, it's cooldown reduction, it's crowd control reduction, which is huge, and then damage yeah, mitigation busted. when you want it the most. And it's not like it's a 60 second cooldown or a 45 second cooldown. This happens basically every time you get taunted. It's insane. Buy this item all the time. If you're a frontliner and you're not buying spirit robe, you're probably trolling. Man, uh, we just got really excited for like three or four seconds and then back to focusing. Uh, a fan of this one myself, and it's working great here for Awesome Jake. Solar Troll. I was a little scared of them doing fire, so I back. I'm pretty sure I could have pushed here, but I didn't want them to just do fire in front of my team. Radius, excuse me. Now positioning around the fire giant, and they feel favored in this fight after the poke that they just got. So they're starting it up. Want to see if they can force Renegade to step in? There's the dash taunt onto Venenu, and he's really gotten already what he wants. The they got a really good knock up on Aurora there. He caught my dash, and that was and really unfortunate. Anyway, in the back line, without the old and no feeds, they gobble him off. The Rivers Rebuke has everyone trapped in, and Renegade. Really good job by Lass. Lass gets the kill on Aurora in the back line, but now he's stuck in the back with low HP as a loose. Pretty sure I could have played that fight way better. I just shouldn't. I was hoping to dash before the Pele knock up in me, but then the Pele knock up in me, and then I ult. I don't want to Aegis the Paleo, but maybe I do. Maybe I don't ult and just take it. That was where I won before I met Fire. I played this really well. Dodge the bomb, dash back. See that? No, the knockup's gonna hit me, Aegis. Yeah. I can give him a little laugh here. Let's give him a little VEL. I'm pretty sure they could have got that fire if they played it better. But maybe not. They were like 1 HP. Bridge of Benji tanked fire for them. I think they get it there. It was, he was zoning. That was a really, play by, really good play by me, but I'm pretty sure they played it uh, poorly. Oh, Max, a purple 6 minutes. There's some other stuff, baby. Thanks, man. Because that's what he wants you to do. Like, that, that is exactly his. The whole hopes and dreams is the assassin is gonna suicide to kill him every fight and Lazarus yeah I was like I remember walking in there because he's been I was like I don't think I had beads yeah right here one of those bombs and it's a two for one I heal on backs and I'm just like Benji's still there 
I guess I'll defend fire here. I don't have beats. Like, I have to play this, like, really awkwardly. I poke it down to on the corner. And then, yeah. I just played that perfectly, basically. I didn't even need it, I guess. I just thought they were going to follow up on me over the wall. Yeah, I played that really well. The whole hopes and dreams is that the assassin is going to suicide to kill him every fight. And Lazbra just hasn't been able to find any other priority targets because he's been using Last Breath on a That game, all you think about because was your fountain rant really about hammering the wave. How many well, times did you do that? Dick really ever hammers the wave, game, uh, unless he needs like to. They, the Renegades have identified that this, this Yamoja is going to be a problem in these team fights, but I, I just don't know that using Lazbra's whole kit to make sure that Aurora dies every fight is really worth their time. I don't think that's what we were really doing. I think it's just how the fights ended up going. The last fight I think is favorable for Renegades, even though they didn't exactly win it. It's just look at the game state. They're only down about 3,000 or so gold. Yeah, we got a really good Pokemon Aurora there. They're taking quite a bit of damage. They're very much still in this game. Are the order <laughs> just jumps away. Renegades, but also Jake taking a lot of extra free poke there in mid. Does make it out of there. Meanwhile, Cyclone Spin is pushing up in left, and he could be in trouble because Barracuda and Lazarus. I think he has beads here for free. Yeah, yeah, that was really good. Well, lost. There are the beads now. Defender for Olympus comes out, and that's a big win for Renegades. Yeah, we get beads and nothing old for free there, basically. Well, that's just a rip. Dump the whole kit. Don't overextend. Just go in, make sure that Cyclone... Alright, this is where make sure I could have gone crit here. I'm not sure what now you've is right. Some, I don't know. That you can try and all in in the back line. I had XE Titans here to deal with Benji's build because I could not kill that man. Um, I could have gone Rage there. I could have gone Windy in there. I could have gone Kins there. Could have also gone Obo there. Um... At least yeah, I'm not sure what is right there, but I'm just trying to shred tanks. I'm trying to burst like adapting, but maybe I should have been trying to burst adapting. But I have to make, I don't know. That's a hard call. But I end up going Kins Obo here, which I don't really go on Jing a lot. But Oracle Vision here for Radiance. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's actually correct there. I mean, I guess you could argue like any point, right? Huge buy for himself, which is that Caron's coin. Now, even with that spirit robe passive there for Jake and Solar Patrol, I think it's going to be a Focus little was, bit what time? 8 p.m. Eastern time. Athenatons, that extra 20% pen makes a big difference. Yeah, I don't think I was supposed to follow up on that hammer. Good job of me backing up, honestly. I mean, their team comp is, like, really scripted in the way they're playing it. I'm going to do the same thing basically every fight. Really good taunt by Vin. Nice. But I don't do any damage. I was thinking about diving BMT there. But came back to the rest of the fight. Oh. I end up killing adapting here as well. Turn around to BMT. What a split fight there from Radiance. I mean, I end up dying here. Um, I thought okay, so I thought we could kill BMT here, so I dash in and then just get stun comboed because I don't have actives and then just die. Tings gets the kill onto Barracuda and he does end up dying for it, but they delay the kill onto this Fury. And with these low health bars, Benji might be able to do even more damage here. This is so sick. Ben like barely lives. There's the shield wall. Not gonna be quite enough damage, so Benji life steal back out has to give up on this for now, but he's already done enough work. The Fury yeah, I dashed in there. I thought we could get it, or I thought we could get the kill. Solo barely missed his cripple, but I mean, even if he gets the cripple and he has beads and can still dash on me, uh, maybe I just uh, <laughs> we're watching that from the best screen. <laughs> that was pretty troll. Um, I think that's on me. I misplayed that fight. I don't know how Barak is back. Wait. in the back line there because he really did not get tracked at all and he's able to free cast for the vast majority of that fight he got so yeah, I good positioning my front line also did a good job of zoning and forcing people away then also the good old to finish off the uh on the back side, emoji kill forcing the agus then he ults to try and make sure that solo patrol and jake die 
both of them end up living, which is which is obviously a bad news situation, but... Yeah, I'm pretty sure, uh, I don't know. There was an argument for me to dash in, there was also an argument for me to just stay with Vin and just be on the Athena. But it feels to me like all the oh, this is this gold fight lasts forever, right? Renegades are the one I really should not be hit by that stone. Right now for <laughs> That's kind of bad by me. With house money, the Primal Fury down to half, and Lazbra has looped around. Look at Jake, bro. Jake just jumps in there. I don't think that they know that he's got this position. He goes. Yeah, me and Vin just do so much damage to Benji here. Oh, Dad thing blinks into my jing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I did not think that uh. Vin was gonna one shot off of like I doubt taking blinks into my knock up. I don't think that they know that he's got this position early on the fight right here. Blinks into my knock up. Vin literally one shots him. I ult nothing because I thought I needed to ult for the uh Pele kill. I think I have an awkward team fight here. I go back like around that way, but I'm pretty sure I should have just position towards the roar here. I guess Aurora still has ult, so you can just cage me off, but I have awkward positioning there, kind of the whole time. Now they've got the lead. Adapting just blinked and dipped his pinky toe in the last second of Barracuda's persistent gust, and it knocked him up and Adapting never got to play by the time he hit the ground. He got one oh, shot. We get, do we end up giving this up? I'm not sure what happens. I think we end up giving this up. Like, we're all staying around half HP. Vin full hills off of red, but I think they come out of base, that, that right? Do they? Entire course of that team fight. That he would have killed both backliners there. Neither one had relics. I think adapting would have found Actually, I guess I remember this wrong. Uh, pretty good knock up there in Aurora. Yeah, we're just ca calling a good emoji. Laz has a really good flank here. I think Vin ends up popping this? No, he doesn't. Okay. Possibly wants a little bit more damage, but there's not much more there. <laughs> Renegades can Wait, you actually hit that? Yeah, you did. The blood in the water, nice. The right now. Benji's so up in three seconds with ult. Fury, but Tings is still nearby with Cyclone. Look at Jake. Got damage and their I think we end up giving this up. I'm pretty sure I could have reset. Last loose, I think. Let's see. He wants this kill. Oh. The last for adapting volcanic lightnings and still Run, last. Close the distance Run. As last for continues to evade, but all this extra movement. Yeah, let's play this set really well. Smart. Up, but a good really good. Really, really good job by us. Yeah, we're gonna lose that primal. I don't think we need to lose that primal. Yeah, I, I think I probably could have. Maybe we could have full committed to primal at one point. Yeah, I ulted nothing. Yeah, I think my positioning in there towards the back was actually right. I could have also just shot Aurora. I'm not sure. And then one shot by Benenu in Barracuda. I think Radiance might just win the game off of that initiation because Adapting played it perfectly. He waited, the, the attention was somewhere else, Renegade's backline's buttons were down, no Persistent Gust ready for Barracuda because it was already on the ground, but it's somehow... I'm still a dash and ult. And he never got to ult. If anything, he all ends Vin and just beats the ult. Lane for Renegades. One but I don't think... For awesome Jake. Four, one, I think if I get a lucky, like, 20% crit on Adapting, he'll always die when he tries to dive in. Are trying to play for I've seen fight. <laughs> do I do any damage to that fight? <laughs> let's let's go back. We'll, we'll see. Let's see. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. And let's get back for it. Tension in this set is on Radiance Renegade. Oh, I do four thousand damage. SMT still living. Yeah. Yeah. Buzz off. I do four K. All right. Roast a major main. Look at this guy. Tried to establish their lead. Lazbra sat on that side of the map all game, and it's starting to pair out here for them a bit. I talked earlier. Well, I want to dive the damage. I don't think it did because it was on the ground like previously. But it's been the opposite. I don't think that focusing awesome Jake at the start of the fights is gonna work. No, he's too tanky at this point. I mean, level 17. He's got mantle of discord now. Uh, I, I think you really have to save Jake for later in the fight. Run, Jake. Use him to bait the rest of the team in. I was in a position to wear him with Jake bombs and just the help Jake. Not going to be sustainable in the long run. I think awesome Jake is starting to realize now the Agni bomb is not going to be the follow up off the taunt anymore. I don't even think he cares so much when he's the one getting taunted in as the fire giant was started and dropped. Oh but my god. Can a good that could have been bad. Spin, but Jake leaps away from with the underhand tactics. Now the fire giant being started up by Radiance down to half HP. The whole squad is here to hang out. Benji goes to I don't even know if he pre girl on the ring. Jake transforms his last bro way off to the side. Good job by Lass. Out, uses the death bane to get away from all the Oh, he didn't get a kill there. But then the fight starts to reset. And that's perfect for Radiance. I mean, they let 
their guy with the global ultimate take all the damage. They get Tycho drums and friends. I'm gonna knock up on a roar here. I'm just waiting on the other side of this wall. I was actually shooting behind Benji because I thought his teammates were gonna come around the wall. I ult through here trying to hit Cyclone. But I don't end up hitting Cyclone. This was just a really bad fight by us. Glass is never in this fight. Also, I kind of waste my actors here, but I thought I could kill Adapting. I'm pretty sure. My thought process was if I kill Adapting, it's one less person with fire, so I just use my relics on him. I really thought he was going to die here. I cannot believe he didn't die that Obo. Wait. Does the Obo spread away from him? Does it bounce to BMT? Oh, it bounced to Barracord? Wait. Wait, he should have died. No. Oh, what? Double kill for adapting on the late game Pele doing his best Lazbra impression as Barracuda gets the dash caught out by the Ogni Stums and the rest of What? It, do you see how far that bounce was? That almost got one posthumously, but didn't. How to bounce with a harpy? How to not bounce to adapting? What? Bro, what? Should have some ward coverage coming on Lasbra, but they actually don't until right now. That is unlucky. That thing should have died. Big man Tinks turns around, finds the stun, and the jig is up. Lasbra should know he doesn't. Yeah, that's where Ming gets a steal. This year, but Venenu is still nearby on this Raijin as well. But Benji taunts and everyone knows. <laughs> that's so troll, dude. Wait, no, they get it. Renegade strip it away. That had to so be so troll to set that up somehow. Radiant had every opportunity, and they couldn't clean it up. Ben was trying to dash away, got his dash interrupted. And yeah, I mean, that was all Benji's taunt. But at the same time, yeah. Proc. It's only on Lazbra right now, but that is huge for the Renegades. Yeah, that part doesn't even matter. To keep themselves in this game. Who cares who has it on Renegades? All that matters yeah. is that five members of Radiance don't have an enhanced fire giant on their side. And I saw the R come up, I'm like, Radiance must have just secured this the right way. No, it's Renegade to grab it. <laughs> Look at this taunt. Just a smidgen too early. Really good decision making there, my man. That's crazy that Venenu makes that play. And Venenu occasionally does make big plays exactly like Wait, what was that? A smidgen too early, and he gets it with the Thunder Crash. That's crazy that Venenu makes that play. And Venenu occasionally. Does make big plays oh, okay, that's what exactly okay. like that for the team. He's so consistent as kind of just like your role player for the team who doesn't always stand out, but sometimes he makes those big plays when you need them, <laughs> and that was one of them. It's like Benji <laughs> turned Venenu's camera to Fire Giant, and Ben goes, That's not the biggest, just like ben. kicking the nuts, like, yeah, you occasionally do <laughs> good oh, things. Oh, I might go in there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like, right. I, I know you just stole Fire, but like, you right occasionally like, do know, the right man. thing. I mean, he's dead there no matter what. He has no beads, so <laughs> right. he may as well try and make the hero play, and uh, boy, does he. That is, that is massive. For renegades, oh, man. I mean, man. That, that keeps them in this Ben's game. Ben's just a good dump on your face. It looks like they may not be. So Radiants still have a slight lead, but we're 33 minutes in. I mean, a 4,000 gold lead at this point. Occasional Not playmaker. Not at all. Renegades can certainly fight, but they don't need this. They don't need Awesome Jake taking a bunch of free poke before the fight's even started. Good yeah, once Jake gets poked this hard, I'm pretty sure I just call it good stuff. And now start up yeah. this Primal Fury. And really, no Renegades way. can't step that's in. Just, good that's thing just bad. Not owning. We should never not defend that. At this point in the game. Renegades can give that up safely and head back to defense. Yeah, it are, they, they already stole the fire. Like at this the point, battle, like, so they don't, that's they don't fine. Care too much I don't think we ever contest that point. there. That is two Primal Furies, though, for Radiance, which now you've got 14% extra damage and, and damage mitigation against that Fire Giant if there is a next one. So that's relevant information. Makes Wait, it is that what you said occasionally start out and consistent one after? Renegades begins or try You're consistently, one, occasionally making for plays. For the moment, <laughs> Renegades are kind of chilling. Frankly, they don't have a whole lot to worry about. I don't think that Radiance can start sieging Phoenixes by any stretch. I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised to see Radiance group up and and try and push for a tier two at this point. Just try and use something of this fire. Oh, shock color, no. Thing, but Lazma's main shock color. I've actually made a, 34 a minutes. Lot of, uh, isn't really relevant. Six items for everyone on Renegade. Actually, this whole Jake. set. 
Same thing can be said for Radiance. I mean, the, the, the biggest news is that Cyclone has already sold his boots and now picked up a Titan's Bane. That's huge. But outside of that, I don't think it really matters. Aggression from Renegades on the right-hand side, though. I saw that ping on the Tier 2 tower, and that was Renegades considering grouping up over here and fighting. They're still near... I think we take a really good fight here. Once he fight, dashes, I'm like, nice, I can fire so much damage like here. Benji has been stunned and knocked up, but that is a very <laughs> tanky Athena. Not going to be much of a... Oh, my B, it's right for the bomb. I'm going to dash for a bomb. Two -man I still get a fight from the noob. Fight. Adapting and left is trying to fight really good pick by... I don't know if Laz or Ben called that. I was like, oh, I was ulting in here. Do I end up getting kills? But what no. about a war? Good Riptide allows him to escape. Uh, he tries to evade the extra nice. damage, but ends up dying from the dot that had to be the Raiju that got in and sets up for a double. Now Solo or Troll Good blinks over, forward, yeah, Cyclone finds Cyclone, but great damage from Dots. Tings, the We're passive damage here. not there. Solo or Troll no teleport, so he can't come back into this fight. So that may have ended that engagement. With yeah, we're thinking he would either like get his boots or kill him there. And on to two frontliners there for Radiance. Well, back. One front liner, Actually, one of the same. Oh, that was a huge taunt by Benji. Big man Maybe? Tains gets good damage yeah. off. Barracuda way too late on the beads. Kind of has the same problem that Venenu had earlier, where he thinks, oh, there's no one close enough. But at this point in the game, you kind of have to instantly. Way too late on the beads. I was no making them use a button on me, aggro. Can't find his way into that team fight. Lazra has really. <laughs> Change targets. No, I was intentionally holding beads there, trying Three to get a bomb. I just pressed beads really too late. And oh, what's the bomb? I tried to like press. dash the bomb. I wasn't I like, be oh, I need to be here, Ryan. If I'm being honest, I mean, I, I come into every set pumped and ready. Oh, that's a fair this analysis, though. I, really I respect the analysis. Because really from top to down, it looks kind of stupid. But in my head, right I was now. like, still up in the if air. I can just hold beats here, it will be fine. I'll bait ability fight. out and then and dash away. Control around it. They might I'm just saying, this is or Shira, thanks for the prime sub. Maybe slow reaction. My reaction time's about a second and a half off there. Radiants come in and nix everything I said about positioning as they reclaim it. But still, Renegades are right here Dad, in What do you mean, one. dash? Oh, wait. Minutes. Bro, I literally ulted through Man, it, four people, close. like, and, and three Relic's times. Being down for both Aurora and then and I dash away from a bomb. Anyway, dash through a bomb. Cool and I take the so damage and then have be his in their back first. Adapting's beads are pretty much synced with Barracudas, so you won't see a huge Relic advantage. Really, the biggest advantage on the map right now is the fact that Radiance has those two primal buffs. I remember seeing that in the game. I was like, They can afford to tank this fire for a long period of time without a whole lot of worry. Very oh, I was so up. scared. Once Jake jumped in here, I was like, dear God, he's about to die. On the last bird, and he hammers. Him. And then once he hammered, I was like, Jake's going to ult. Awesome. Jake to jump in. He thought and it would be like, worse than it actually wait. was. <laughs> Still ends up okay, though. They can't commit. So we have BNT's beads here. Jake last is just back, playing this, this fight so well. And then I'm there. Yeah, I think last might have died there if I wasn't there. He might, like, use the beat if that you watch so Jake right in, he here, he worse than last blinks in, blinkles, okay, they can't and then so Lasper goes on to big I'm trying to threaten him. BMT right here, and BMT walks away. And that Laz might have died. I'm not sure if he had another. That's good if can get that maybe out. he lives to one now bomb, maybe he dies to two. For their next fight. And even though I was really surprised Jake didn't ult there. And his we got, uh, he's got we got Agnew's beads so there. Those are going to be up pretty soon. We traded I a non-Relic-Dagger beads you know for a dagger beads. So pretty good trade. Never surrender. They're going so to Jake just jumped, like, right back this is so good by Jake. He's got Relic-Dagger, so those are going to be up like, pretty soon. Like, game, we know last time out of base. Don't hesitate. And Jake just sees the opportunity right here. And just, like, we have both the carries jumps. Uh, Jake horrifics both, yeah, and then just holds it, awesome. and Jake like, it's so good. It's so, like, All the way to the back his decision making and his play, like, just allows me and Ben to just recast right here, they ult in. They've lost Tings, he's been the centerpiece of this whole operation, but Nenu finds the ultimate on Toro really, 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 really well, so maybe Renegades with the 5v3 can no, try I to put this game fire. to bed, but they don't get ahead of themselves, they come right back to the FG, grab again. that objective so they can be ready for the siege. Man, Ting's I, half panic dash. Oh, that was so good the by wall, Jake. Like, but Jake catches him mid dash so good with that hammer. And Jake just laser focused on the enemy mid lane. Yeah, he he really enemy, was. Jump in, horrific <laughs> hammer right on top of Ting's. And as soon as that happens, he's dead. Even without the, the hammer, honestly. As soon as Ting's gets horrific, he's pretty much dead. And I, and I think they go mid Phoenix. There's into not, a, I, I don't know how many here? supports just jump in right away. 
And I, you know, that's a that's a PBM play. That's an Aurora play. That's a Jake play. That's that's Will. Why Jake troll range? Turn off uh, the I wouldn't call it trolling. And get the wrong word. And that's what you need out of your support. And, and I think that Jake has played so well these last two games. But trolling is not the correct word. Really good job by last year in the zone. I know adapting, make adapting not feel safe. Are they? Did he get his beads there? Oh yeah, you got to his beads. Yeah. Kind of a pain in beads by adapting, but maybe he needs to be here. The renegades might be about to win the set. Maybe. I mean, it was really good zone by my front line. We freely get the Phoenix there. It's just a we ended up going Oni here, right? Can we get huge, chased Oni? But then to be able to start making some plays with that momentum, obviously, we're at the point in the oh, game so you not care about his ring games? He fire giant he cares. The fellas are working with, so they don't have to worry nearly as much about minions and back Jake's protection. a hard person to describe. But I think this is why awesome Jake being added this, to this team was so important, because you're right, he reacts to the play, doesn't he? Remember what happened with Lazbra right near the Pyromancer? It didn't end up amounting to a whole lot, but it looked like Lazbra was going to be locked down, so Jake was in there. I should go Deathbringer here. Lazar makes it out, so does Jake. It doesn't end up being a big Because there aren't many Spectrals, and I kind of just want to, like, get some surprise team. crits on the boys. When Jake thinks he's needed. He's in there before he even really thinks, I think. Hey, that's what you need, man. Who, who needs to think when you're a frontliner, am I right? They just get in there, and, and they don't have to think. All their buttons are unmissable, and they're so tanky, it doesn't matter. That's, uh, he just jumps that's around. Bit. But I, I think that we, you and I were talking about this before we even went live with SPL today. Uh, I think a big problem for a lot of players across a lot of different games is that they're too scared to die. They, they're so scared yeah. about their KDA getting ruined or, you know, getting memed by chat or, you know, just... Yeah, like I, just, like I thought Deathbringer was the best wrong. last item here for me. And that's just really not the case at a competitive level. There are so many fights where you I don't want to get rage this late. I mean, you can second off one team, team fight, and but... Jake, at this no point, you're second off you one team fight, and then guy. you're winning the game. We're losing the game. He has never, I guess you're always one losing. second, We're been scared game. to die. <laughs> ever. Under any circumstances. And I think that that's a huge deal for for him and this team. Certainly tough to teach, so fortunately... Well, I think we have left Phoenix for free. Vin does a good... Uh, I wouldn't call it zoning ult, but it's like a threatening ult on their back line. Lazbra threatening all the way over and right. We don't normally see splits quite this wide, but there is no mid Phoenix, so he's got to yeah, call... Yeah, I've split really, really well with the only ways, in my opinion. Hand yeah, this is Vin's ult. Vin's ult basically allows me to just freely get the Phoenix while he pressures their back line. He is able to dash back out of there and stay alive, but the left side... Jake is never scared to die. He's died literally thousands of times. What is, what is this? What is this ad? It's a furniture ad? Oh, no. Phoenix the now goes designing. down. Renegade starting to look well, like confusing. they are in control in the game number three, the decider match up against Radiance. Uh, Benji uh, just dashed in and mid. I wonder if Jake's going to go for him. Decides not to. Holds back on the he trigger that, that time. Right, is this the Phoenix where yeah, we all was, die at? That caught me off guard personally to watch Jake not jump in in that situation, but smart because Bear and Ben were going for a red buff. They were pretty far away. Renegades now grouping up around the last big objective left on the map, the right side Phoenix, to see if they can make the siege happen here. No defensive relics for Aurora, no beads for big man Tings. Those two more vulnerable than usual. Benji comes in. to knock up there immediately. So I, this is Richard. where I don't think I should have ulted out. We'll have the flank on the back side to the rivers. I'm pretty beat. sure maybe I just tank the old damage. Try and lock in two members. Doesn't quite work. Awesome. Uh, Jacob I played that a little yeah. scared, they but I guess adapting his blink up. We're gonna keep minions pumping in. He I can't get blink one shot by adapting my ult. I think I think the ult was fine. I mean, it's Air a little beta, but I'm pretty sure the ult was fine. Uh, rivers rebuke forced it, so that that is a win for Radiance. He's a lot more vulnerable, especially now without beads. Benji's taking a lot of damage. He must have dashed in. He's just walking back out. He finally has that dash available. There it is. Mix it out, but it's even more pressure now for Radiance. Aurora stuck on the front line. I think line so. Actually, like died. Yeah, this is where. Big man Ting so like, I was, Aurora gets the rip kind of off, sounding kind of doesn't. S O T, but he lives through it all. Meanwhile, the Titan now starting to be under duress from a few more minions. They force those back out. Radiance. For some reason, I thought I had the point the start. And I think I was they're going to try and, and take shooting. this fight. S O T. We called to take this fight. I know it beats. So adapting, like saving the volcanic lightning. Benenu had some trouble in the back. I couldn't. As adapting. Yeah, I don't think I played this fight well. Um. Is low.
Lives through it all. Meanwhile, the Titan I mean, to rest from a few more minions. They force those back out. Yeah, I should play this fight well. Hold on to their actual base, and I think they're gonna try and take this fight. Sot is low, but they couldn't quite get the kill. I guess if Jake so gets the stun, with the volcanic lightning, Beninu's in some trouble in the back. Could this be the yeah? If Jake gets the stun, maybe base. I live. And I think maybe, they're gonna try and take this Benji fight. Sot is right low, there. but they couldn't quite get the kill. So adapting, uh, with the volcanic yeah, lightning. Yeah, Benji probably dies. in some trouble in the back. Could this be the turn? way, like I could have gotten out. Has found himself a double kill. Are we Overstayed. Down, put the damage, tanks, um, takes care of I think I messed up in the beginning of this as well. I missed a knockup on Athena, I think. More than Jake and Alpha Bear. Danny's just walked. I think it's right it, here. So that, that is a win. I bet the knock up on Athena, she Radiance. just dies. He's a lot more vulnerable, especially. I ended like a quarter of an Benji's inch. Benji's taking too a lot far. of damage. He must have dashed in. He's just walking back yeah, out. Yeah, Benji dies. He finally and has then... that dash available. There it is. Aurora out, probably does the exact same it's thing. Even more pressure but Benji definitely Radiance. should have died there. The front line with I no bet the knock up. Help him escape. Big Man Tings wants to. And the fight after, we played bad. Backwards, the Titan away from their own base as Lazarus threatens mid Phoenix. It was a good job by Jake to run into their base. Time, but, I mean, their, their Phoenix, Titan the took Titan so much damage that we're right not really now. sweating. Because we can kind of just end whenever we want. Here on if we want. Ultimate objective. They'll be able to defend. Well, Mac, I was like, so 26 left for Riso, maybe? Well, it's a long respawn time. Also, I could have peeled for Vin there as well. they can at least push out these waves. I don't know even know about a Phoenix right now. I love what Lazarus doing though. He's sitting on a sentry ward. I don't think he's got the damage to end by himself though. I think that this would just ultimately reset the Titan. Perhaps the last Yeah, Lazarus getting the, the mid phoenix was actually huge. One sentry ward, but all of Radiance are on the fire giant. I don't know if they'll be able to back quickly if need be. Tings does end up backing while the rest of the squad takes care yeah, of Yeah, then I'll go on Benji probably in there. This I think? Is, and it is so far away. I just Whenever aimed like back a up quarter again, inch too far. It's so difficult for Radiance to take any fights, really. They got to just be taking a chance. We're not on an auto type build like can and start that. To get would you finish with? Because if Renegade Wait, what do you mean? path through, they can just end the game. Like, I'm I going to like what, what Cyclone and Aurora and Adapting are doing. They're just staying grouped as three and hoping that someone comes to clear speed. But Barracuda might be able to catch them. Is he's kind of we didn't even know they were going there in over game. And, and in his passive. And it's only three members. And I had like no idea they were right behind me. For them, wherever they end up. Last calls. This is risky, but Radiance kind of have to play. Yeah, right when they pings, he's because like, I think I saw something where like someone was there, and I'm like, wait, what? No way. So the and then they see Solo, like, and then once he jumps, we're just like, okay. Solo or troll is I think we just won. Really that was my thought adapting, process. Like, the and then they double ult me off, which is kind of weird by then. Solo or troll blinks in, adapting suddenly left in a bad spot, but Benji is able to use the ultimate to suddenly show up. Adapting forces. We were pushing here, and then I go to flank around. Because my team is uh, to the Titan going room. in Someone's here. Gotta be there I think my end. flank was actually no really good here. Finally makes I knock him and dash back, in and just go on their back line. It is a big taunt. Oh, that back brings line. a couple members in for a lot of damage, but Tings has got to. I think I could have landed back on top right. of uh, gets the kill our boys. Of a cyclone spin cuts but they end up killing him. I own Benji out. And then I waste my beads. I shouldn't be here. Defend from all these directions. Big man Tings has got a I waste my beats. I shouldn't be in dash here. Hurry did it. I had a couple huge Titan defenses, but this one looks a little bit too tough. Huge fire waves coming from the left hand side. This is such a big deal for the Renegades, boy, yeah. that they found a way we'll to upset Radiance all the way to game three. 45 minutes on the clock. If I go Kings and Exit Titans, we really able to just shut go, down one of the we super finish a power one of the best super teams uh, we've ever had. The only defense item you would ever get is like Magi's or Mantle as a carry, too, and, and then, um... Game two. Uh, you can go crit with Kings, Exit Titans, crit's fine. Yeah, anything, anything's fine. Sorry, I'm really hungry, so my brain's not working. Right, right now, they, win, things, hey, they stomp it out, and, and they get really ahead early on, and, and they really just right, never give Radiance a chance. Game three is much closer from... Be yeah, game, game three was a barn burner of a game. Uh, you know Jake stunning out their front line, making these facilitating plays, and trading his life very rarely. I think he had maybe two deaths that game, but not for lack of trying. Jake, not scared of dying in the slightest, took the most aggressive positioning in every single fight. Yeah, I do want to talk a little bit about that frenzy as well that Jake had. We've seen that. Oh, the interview? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Nice. The team fights. But then it really showed All right, that last we're going to have an interview. <laughs> That's the replay we're going to see. This Thunder Crash that steals it away. We were talking, it's not a whole ton of damage on Thunder Crash either, is it? When you think about the actual just raw damage it's going to bring out. 
Especially considering that's the first tick, that preemptive strike on Thunder Crash. It really doesn't get the majority of the damage until Raijin lands from it. Instead, he yeah. gets it un immediately. And I think Aggro really pointed out the mentality behind it perfectly. He was literally... Yeah, I really want to die BMT there, but he was so far back. Is, gets taunted, looks at Fire Giant, says, Oh, word, it's literally I'll just come back to the shot. team. Guess I'm dead either way. Let me pick it up. And he I saw the second I was going to hit. Renegades in the game. Oh, that's second last one. The other one's out of range. Ben had a very quiet games one and two, but in game he three, did. he really did go full hero. Yeah, look at me ulting, dude, I mean, so bad. It took him three games of Raijin in a row to get that, but at least the result was there, you know? <laughs> Why are they just roasting you? Victory of a Radiant scent. And I think that's the interesting thing of the Bro, they legit now, hard roast you, back -back and then have an interview with you. Lost last week, they've just lost to Renegades here. They've got Sanguine on Sunday, and I think a lot of fans might be, you know, Maybe reconsidering their vote. Am I doing things? I'm moment. doing good, man. Are you? Just went to make sure they could try and get those viewer points in. But the league is getting tight, Mifflin. Again, we thought we were starting to see a gap. I thought Radiance were the top dog. It doesn't seem to be the case anymore. Week four, week, it's a week five. It's starting to show signs of struggle. And they.